guys, it's Ashley, and today I thought I would do a little bit of a TBR. I know, I know, I don't do TBRs, but this is different. It's not really a TBR. It's kind of just talking about my reading plans for the next few months because I have plans. Not a TBR per se, but some plans. So we are in August, and apparently August is ARC August. This is something I learned of from Sam over at Thoughts on Tomes. I'll link her video down below. But basically, bloggers have been doing this ARC August for several years where they just read through their ARC copies. It's starting to influence trait book two, and so I thought that was a fantastic idea, especially since I came home with all of these books from BEA and BookCon that I need to get through. So this month I am unofficially joining ARC August and trying to read as many ARCs as humanly possible. These can be ARCs that have already come out or ARCs that don't come out for another year or two. As long as it is an ARC copy, it is fair game for ARC August. So that is what I'm going to do and get through some of these guys. Not these guys, these are just regular books, but these and some of the ones behind me down here are arcs. Don't judge me. I have a problem. The other thing that I'm going to be doing in August is round two of Biorat, which is a readathon that I started last summer. I was getting really jealous of all the readathons that were happening and I couldn't participate in them because of time constraints and everything else. So I invented my own readathon and it's called Build Your Own Readathon. I'll have a video up soon announcing that officially, but just wanted to throw that out there that it's a thing, it's coming, and if you like readathons, you might like this, especially if your schedules are tough with all the other readathons because this is wonderful. So that's August. Arc August and a reappearance of Biorat, which for me personally, I am going to use Biorat to get through some art copies. Double duty there. Then in September, September is going to be a fun month because September is Roald Dahl's 100th birthday. If you've seen my July check-in for Year of Dahl, then you already know that I am going to London and Cardiff and I believe it's Cheshire in September to join all the celebrations for his 100th birthday and I am so excited about it. So I am kind of officially declaring September the month of Dahl, which I believe it already is because that's when his birthday is, and I am going to try and read as many of his books that I still haven't read as possible in the month of September. In August I'm still going to be reading some of his books in addition to ARCs because there are some of his books that I want to read before I get to the celebrations because I know that they're going to be involved in some of the events and I want to like understand what's going on. So things like the witches, the twits, and I forget there was like two others that I really wanted to have done before I get there. So I will still be reading doll books during the month of August. That's not on hold. Just other reading. So we have ARC August. September is the month of doll. October I am going to dedicate to reading my Owl Crate books. Owl Crate October. I'm going to get caught up on the one, two, three, four, five books from Owl Crate that are currently sitting unread on my shelves. Not to mention the one that's going to come this month that's probably not going to be read this month. I mean, it might be, but who knows? We'll find out. So October will be dedicated to getting caught up on my Owl Crate books in addition to whatever the heck else I want to read because I am definitely a mood reader. So I'm not going to let these things that I'm setting up deter me from reading other books. If I'm just not feeling any of those books and want to read something else, I'm going to read something else. That's just how I am. I'm not going to force myself into a reading slump. I'm going to read when I want to read. And then then that brings us to November and December where I'm just going to try and get caught up on all the other books that I wanted to read this year, try to finish up series that I started this year, and that sort of thing. So that's my plans for the rest of the year. Arc August, Doll September, Owl Crate October, Catch Up November and December. <laughs> I don't know what to call those. So that's all. I just wanted to share with you my ideas and my plans. Are you guys participating in ARC August or do you have any other fun reading plans for the rest of the year? I would love to know about them down below. Please share. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed our little chat and I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye!